Seed from the garden. This is starting onions from seed part three, where we're going to do fertilizing and talk about topping the onions. Since our last video, the candy onions put on about three inches of growth and the Patterson's put on about one inch. Now, in the garden, I did notice that the, the candy onions did grow a little taller than the Patterson's and they did produce a little bit larger bulb overall, but that was last year and I wasn't sure how much of that was based on variety or the fact that the Patterson's had gotten a later start than the candy onions did. Now that the onions are getting larger, I'm going to do another fertilizing, but this time instead of doing one capful, I'll do a full two capfuls to one quart of water. This is how the onions look currently. So this is like an overview from the top and we'll come in get a closer view at these stems, which are definitely starting to thicken up. And I did go through, and most of the cells that had, say, two plants, I did thin them out to just a one. For fertilizing, I am going to be using the fish fertilizer again this time. As I said before, we'll do like a full two capfuls. After adding a capful, they did shake that up real good, especially since it tends to uh, accumulate a little bit at the bottom, so you have to like tip it upside down and shake it. But I will go through and I will fertilize these, making sure I get these edges first, where I have to take a little bit more care to do those. And then get the center. Now that we've finished fertilizing the onions, let's go on to the topic of topping them. The idea of topping the onions is to stiffen them up before transplanting. And I am four to five weeks out from transplanting these into the garden. So this is the time for me to top onions if I was going to. Now, I didn't top the onions last year and it really didn't affect their growth at all. But I thought maybe we could turn this into a little bit of an experiment where I'll top a portion of the onions here in the center and we'll be able to do a comparison of the topped onions versus the untopped ones to see how they look at transplanting time. The top of the onions, I'm just gonna use the regular scissors and I'm gonna do about three rows of each. So three of the Patterson and three of the candy onions. I will cut them to about four inches in height and, and we'll, set, we'll just kind of see how that works. Do the topping process. Um, I'm just kind of experimenting here, but the easiest thing, seems to be just to kind of grab the top and then do a little cut and that way you can pull that extra vegetation off. So I'll go ahead and finish these up, which I'm almost done. Now the actual onion tops, you could actually save these and cook with them, you know, kind of like a green onion. I finished topping all the onions I'm going to. And I said, I'm going to just leave these ones on the downside as my control. So the next video in this series is going to be where I actually transplant these outside. Now in three weeks, I will start to harden these off by putting them outside for a couple hours and then bring them in, put them outside for longer periods of time so that they get used to being out in the sun. My actual transplanting time will vary just depending on the weather and how workable the soil is at that time. I'm anticipating about March 5th or 6th, somewhere in there, as my target. But if it's still too cold or the soil isn't workable enough, then I'll just delay another week or even two weeks if I really had to. When it comes to temperatures for hardening off the onions, I'm really looking for daytime temps to be like in the 30s. So if I do get some days where it's going to be, say, in the mid to upper 30s, even before that three-week time period, I will put them out for a little while. Again, just to give them that sun exposure and to uh, harden them off. But that's the end of the video for today. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you got something out of it. And we'll see you on the next one.